kids? Caleb here from the Game Glyph, and we're talking about another Sega Genesis game. I know I talk about a lot of Sega Genesis games, but I freaking love Sega Genesis. And we're gonna talk about one of the weirdest games in the system. It's not a rare or, or obscure or even expensive game, really. This game is a strange amalgamation of two worlds. It is Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. That game is weird. It's just one of the strangest games I've ever played. I can't not make this video. I can't not talk about this game. It is so freaking out there, like the whole ideas that went behind making this game. Michael Jackson, you were a strange, strange man on so many levels, and this game just really exemplifies that fact. Let's look at Michael Jackson's Moonwalker for Sega Genesis. Check it out. Michael Jackson's Moonwalker, or MJ Moonwalker, was developed by Key Punch and Emerald Software, respectively. Published by US Gold and released for the Sega Genesis in North Yank America on July 24th, 1990. MJ had a serious Sega fetish in the 90s and was known for collaborating with them on multiple projects. This game, of course, was based on the previously released Moonwalker feature film, which is basically just one long, continuous, overindulged, surreal horrorscape of a music video. The game, however, I would categorize as a platforming action action game, I think. Okay, right away, that is an awesome logo. Wow. So what's really neat about this game is you can go into the options and put it on easy because I'm a complete sissy like that. But if you look down at the music, you can actually go through some of the music in the game, I think all of it, and it's really awesome, like Sega Genesis versions of these songs. That's, that's pumping. Beat it? Hell yeah. That sounds awesome with the Sega Genesis sound engine. This is really nice to go through these sounds and hear what they sound like. They sound really cool. Okay, clearly after this moment we know something is really amiss here about this game. Something is strange. Did Michael Jackson just transform from a car into Michael Jackson? Is that what just happened? Okay, so he walks in the room, he spins around, he flips a quarter in the jukebox machine, and that's the way the game starts. And obviously this is pretty weird. You can kick, magic fairy dust comes out, you can jump, you can go woo, you can throw your hat like freaking Kung Lao from Mortal Kombat. When you kick at him, they fly off the screen like crazy. People are jumping on tables, and for some reason they got you rescuing little orphans that fly off on fireballs. And every time you rescue them, it gives you a little bit more of your magic meter, which you also share with your health meter. If you run out, you can't do any of your special moves, and it really, really sucks, and he's really weak. So as you're walking around trying to open up closets looking for uh you know enemies and stuff all of a sudden you start trying to get kissed by a lady and you kick her in the stomach and she just leans back michael jackson i don't know if that was a good idea wait what okay so i'm not the only one that I, I, yes that's that's weird that's strange there's little girls in closets uh why is michael jackson saving ch children why do they need him to save them why after you find all the orphans that are hidden all over the stage, after the last one gets sent on our way, a monkey jumps on your back, and you have to take that monkey back to some random point on the stage and follow his little arms as he tries to point you in the right direction. Which is kind of hard because it's both vertical and horizontally challenging to really figure out which way his little monkey finger is pointing. Don't point that monkey finger at me. God, where's it been before? Now there is a lot of level variation in this game. What really sucks is you have to do three stages of each level. And I hate that. I hate when levels have stages. Like in the first Sonic game, there was three acts. And that annoyed the living piss out of me. So I liked how in the second one, there was only two acts. I can actually deal and get behind that. And on the third one, it was just seamless between each act. That was even better. But this game makes you basically play the same level three times. Each time getting more and more difficult and annoying. Because all you do is find all the orphans, the monkey jumps on your back, and you take it to some random place in the level, and then you fight a boss. That is what the game is. That is all that it is. And it's not the worst thing. Thing ever. And the boss battles pretty much vary. This first one is just like a single guy, but usually it's like a swarm of freaking enemies coming at you really fast. And they're pretty fun, but they're really hard because Michael Jackson can only kick in one direction at one time and his attacks are really weak. And if you run out of your magic, you're completely screwed. Okay, so obviously the presentation in this game is pretty damn good. I mean, this game looks freaking awesome. I love the sprites. I love the graveyard level with all the zombies and stuff. This level is actually really awesome. It completely reminds me of Thriller, of course. There's just so many freaking zombies in this level. But yeah, the graphics are really, really crisp. And I like the way that they did it. I like the sprites. And the animation is a little bit stiff. I've seen games on the Sega Genesis with better animation. Like, look at Comic Zone. Look at the animation in that game. So, but this was an early Sega Genesis game. So, I, I like the graphics in this game. I would not fault that at all. And they're like kind 
kind of quirky as far as, you know, what they look like and the, the styles they chose to use. But obviously they reuse a lot of assets in this game. That's fine because the game is basically like a weird version of an arcade game. So they definitely get the job done. And I couldn't imagine this game really looking any other way as far as this version of it. The sound and music in this game is just simply epic. The way that Michael Jackson actually worked the Sega Genesis sound engine to make his song sound so freaking awesome. I mean, this game's music is absolutely killer. I had to download the soundtrack so I could listen to it because it just blows my mind, even though it's instrumental. I wish there was more of his voice samples in the game, honestly. That's the only thing I would say. But I know it would have sounded like crap because they would have digitized it and compressed it and would have sounded like absolute ass. The music in this game, though, is definitely stellar and the sound effects are great. Controls in this game are really not that bad. They're kind of strange. Uh, let me let me explain what I mean by strange. You can punch, and fairy dust comes out, and you have a meter for that. And A does like your super move, where you can like throw your hat like Kung Lao. It's kind of strange. You can jump and do that. You can interact with the environment with, with the A button. But you have this meter at the bottom of the screen that constantly is depleting. And if you use up all of your crap, you know when you're trying to free these orphans, fighting enemies, and if you don't, you know, utilize it right, then you run out. And when you run out, you become a pussy version of yourself. And basically, you're a complete weak mess and but wait what there's a button to grab your crotch in this game so when you run out of the magic you can just you can make your own magic that's right it could yeah, come on lady you like that you like that you want some ah yeah yeah fuck you yeah fuck no fuck you ah uh, yeah yeah god why why did they why did they do that why do they focus so much effort on the the crotch animation like that is a lot yeah i mean that's cool you can do that you can still punch enemies, but why is there this extensive crotch animation? I don't understand why. Oh my god! Oh my god, this is so weird. Oh. Every once in a while, out of absolutely seemingly nowhere, Michael Jackson will power up and transform into a giant robot out of nowhere just because there's Michael Jackson and then there's Mecca Jackson <laughs> Mecca Jackson so I know I've stated that the gameplay is like really repetitive because all you really do in this game is just chase down orphans and they're in various places hiding like in the back of cars and bushes and closets and windows and doors and just whatever. There's orphans everywhere in this game, just hidden everywhere. And once you get all the orphans, at the very end of the game, you have to kill all the enemies in the stage with your mech suit. Once you blow all their asses to kingdom come, then the game actually surprises you in the very end and changes completely and becomes something kind of like a weird version of like Wing Commander. This is too Michael Jackson for me and I'm, I'm a fan, but this is too much. Can't handle this. It's too much. Oh my god! So would I recommend this game by nowadays standards? Absolutely. This game is freaking awesome. This is like the weirdest game I've ever played. I can't even really categorize what it is. I guess it's an action platformer with Michael Jackson. I mean, you can do all kinds of weird stuff in this game, the environment. You can get all the characters on the screen to dance and stuff. The music is like one of your super moves. It's like the screen bomb, basically, I guess. But man, this game is super neat and weird and creepy, considering all the weird stuff about Michael Jackson that may or may not even be true. But I would definitely recommend you pick this game up. I have a feeling it's going to be a collector's eye. Item, Michael Jackson's Moonwalker, I give a 9 out of 10. Great game. Really freaking weird. Hey, thanks everybody for watching my video. I'm almost at 100 subscribers. I may even be at 100 subscribers by now. And I wouldn't be here without all of you guys. So thank you so much for taking the time to like my videos. Hitting that subscribe button. Hitting that like button. Leaving comments in the comment area. Even if they're not, like, agreeing with me. It's just neat to start that kind of dialogue. That's why I'm doing this. I love the sense of community. So keep it up, guys. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you again in the next video. Bye.